Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to go over this camera rolling shutter effect. She's used to simulate the type of rolling shutter effect footage shot with digital cameras, mobile phones. And what I found if you increase the motion blur length, you get some very interesting uh, effects, such as these renders here using camera rolling shutter, the car animated in the Y direction and rotated as well. Same with these abstract halls of mirrors type renders. Okay, so as I've seen, and the head's been animated in the Y direction. So that's frame one, that's frame three. So start by rendering frame two. And if we enable motion blur using the default settings, we get, should get something like this, expected behavior. So now if we go into the Arnold attributes of the camera, and you scroll down, you should see rolling shutter, which is full to off. If we change that to top, you might not notice anything. So just go back to the motion blur settings and just increase the number of keys and the length as well. Okay, so now we're seeing effect of the camera rolling shutter. Let me change it to bottom. If we move the camera around, you can start to get to see some very weird effects. It's also left and right. So that's a length of 10, create a snapshot, change it back to 1. You can see the difference there. So that's camera rolling shutter in Arnold. Thanks for watching. Bye.